Leonardo da Vinci. I've got it. We need to summon the spirit of Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci? That's right. He died about 40 years ago, but I bet his spirit can help us. I'm dead. I think it would be better to summon Edison's spirit so he could make a battery charger for the telephone. Who is Edison? Exactly. He hasn't been born yet. Never mind. Just call Da Vinci's spirit. Uh, to summon his spirit, I'll I use these magical cards. I'll arrange it. I'm done. I'm cards, done. I can't. Oh my god. Remove I'm like... the cards by matching pairs. Oh my Let's god, go I'm to sorry, my I'm card sorry. I'm like dying. I'm like, oh my god. You have to do. We just have to finish the level. Yeah. at IGA, which is a grocery store. Which, uh, most people quit, so... Yeah. Most people quit. I don't know why. <laughs> There's a bird in there currently. She hates, hates Mushroom Age, just like everyone else I've had play it, including myself. So, thank you for watching, everyone. Thank you. Thank you again. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we hope you watch the next video. We don't know who's going to be guest. Uh, I don't know at all what's going to happen, so we're going we're gonna to find out. Yeah, Claudia, maybe you should watch us play... Watch the watch the playthroughs of Mushroom Age. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm gonna like listen to like an hour and a half of like me being frustrated. <laughs> be like, what you dinosaur? Can, you can listen to just. It's actually really funny. Really, there's just two in here. Oh my gosh. It's gonna I can show you the video right now. It's not uploaded yet. Okay, sure. Well, <laughs> we, we're gonna get back to you, people. Yes, we will. Okay. Eventually. Yeah. We just don't know when or with who or anything of such. Yeah. Robot unicorn. Robot unicorn. Okay, goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Mushroom Age. I'm Vicky and I'm playing by myself today. So we left off playing this card game to help us summon Leonardo da Vinci's spirit. And this game is a bit like Mahjong where you have to match cards. I think it's hmm, based on the suit and or something. I don't know. Oh, you have to match exact cards. I understand. There we go. King of Diamonds. Ace of Hearts. Ten of Hearts. Ace of Diamonds. Queen of Diamonds. Ace of Clubs, Jack of a uh, Clubs, well, mm, Ten of Hearts again. Wait a minute, what? Did we do Ten of Hearts before? Okay, no comment. Joker can match with anyone. That's great. And we're done. So one thing I'd like to mention is that uh, unfortunately it wasn't recording. So this is the second time Hi, Leo. this. Hello. So guys, <laughs> what can I do for you? This woman needs to get to the year 3008, but her time machine broke down. Well, you have to build a new one. Yeah, but how? Here is a schematic diagram. I sketched this about 70 years ago, but then invented the helicopter, so I had to postpone work on the time machine. The plans are encrypted, so you'll need to crack the code. Once you've figured out the code, it shouldn't be too difficult for you. 
Thanks, Leo. Thank you. Not a problem. Right. Okay. Well, wasn't he nice? Let's decode these plans and build the time machine. Was that really Leonardo da Vinci's spirit? He spoke well, who else English. Could it have been? Leonardo always gets right to the point. <laughs> now, let's break this code so we can send you on your way. All right, let's do it. Do, 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 do. Ah. There we go. Awesome. Excellent. All we have to do now is put it together. Why does they have a toilet? <laughs> what? That doesn't make any sense. They didn't have toilets. What's going on? game doesn't make much sense so I'm starting to not question it as much as I used to. What's missing? Oh, that thing. <laughs> wow. It looks wow. Like it's ready. It looks weird. Like a cross between a toilet and a helicopter. Yes, it was sort of a transition for him. He had just invented the toilets and hadn't yet invented the helicopter. Thank you, Michelle. I'm off. Tom is waiting for me. Good luck, Mira, and take care. Who knows? Maybe we will see each other again. After all, it is a small world. <laughs> so weird. The intestines of time. You guys are gonna love this. Good heavens, I'm in space. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Vera. It's God. Who just said that? I have many names. You can call me the Omniscient One. <laughs> okay, Omniscient One. Where are you? How can she breathe in space? I am everywhere and nowhere. I don't have a visible body. How do you know my name? I know everything. Do you know how I got here? Of course. I was on my way to 3008. I know. Leonardo da Vinci never got a chance to test his plans. His machine malfunctioned and produced a system error. Okay. So what year is it? This place is not within the confines of time. You know, Omniscient One, I really need to get to 3008. Do you think you could help me? Sure, but let's play a game first. Sure. What game? I call it Heavenly Pinball. <laughs> if you win three times, I'll help you. Okay, let's play. I like the creepy sound of kids laughing. So... Uh...
okay. I think my uh, game has a glitch. Yeah, that's kind of weird. What did you think of the game? It was pretty amusing. Omniscient one, you said you know everything, right? Of course, I know everything. So what happened to Tom, my fiancé? I can't tell you. Why? Well, imagine that you are a ball in Heavenly Pinball. You bounce off one bumper into another one and eventually reach your goal. But if you change anything, even by just a millimeter, the entire situation changes and your life could take an entirely different path. What are you trying to tell me? That I'm not going to interfere. Let's play again. <laughs> there are no red balls. What the heck's going on? Okay. Whatever. You're good at this game, Vera. It's Thanks. fun to play with you. <laughs> Omniscient one. In addition to knowing everything, you're probably almighty too, right? Of course, I can do anything. Then could you please return Tom, my fiancé, to 2008? Our wedding is just around the corner. You know, I've been practicing transcendental meditation lately. <laughs> I've been trying to feel like I don't exist. And besides, I can't interfere. It disturbs everything. And you're not bored here? Outside of time, knowing everything, trying to feel like you don't exist? <laughs> well, of course, I'm bored at times, but then I just tell myself not to be bored. I try to feel empty like I don't exist. Boredom doesn't exist in the void. Well, I probably shouldn't be giving you advice, but awesome. perhaps you should try a more active lifestyle. <laughs> you think so? Yes. I think you should go for a walk, talk to people, <laughs> and get involved. Hmm, that's an interesting thought. <laughs> Let's play again. <laughs> Well, I don't think he has legs to go for a walk and go talk to people. Hey guys, my name is God. Yawn. You know, Vera, I'm afraid if I start getting more involved and start talking with everyone, then I won't be the omniscient one anymore. Who cares? It's and where the did you get one. this idea that you're the omniscient one? Hmm. Well, if I'm not the omniscient one, then who is? Maybe Leonardo da Vinci? Who, by the way, promised to send me to 3008. Right. You know, Vera, you're an interesting person. Why don't you take my number? You know, just in case you want to call. Oh, the battery in my mobile phone died. I've God's trying to hook up with Vera. How? Don't forget, I'm almighty. Okay, what's your number? Ten billion. New contact. The omniscient one. Okay, I've got it. Thanks for all your help. It's time for me to go now. I'm always here. Give me a call if you need anything. Connecting to 3008 AD. <laughs> oh god, creepy children laughing. Wow, so she met God and God is interested in her and he gave her her number, his number. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> 